Starliner at one and a half meters away. After both years of delays and an eventful 27 hours since its launch, this is the moment when Boeing's Starliner finally docked at the International Space Station Thursday morning. One of two NASA astronauts in that capsule, Sonny Williams, could not help but dance a little as she greeted and hugged her new roommates on the ISS. And liftoff of Starliner. The mission experienced a few delays in the past month, but when the Starliner finally took off from Cape Canaveral on Wednesday, it became the first Boeing spacecraft to carry humans into space. However, then some of that eventfulness I mentioned started to pop up. First, at 11 p.m. Wednesday night, NASA posted online that three helium leaks were detected on the ship. They would eventually find one more. The team did some incredible troubleshooting, exercised the teams back at Mission Ops and back in Florida. Then five of the ship's thrusters started malfunctioning, causing the Starliner to miss its initial window for docking at the ISS. Thankfully, they were able to get four of them back online, but as for the reason behind this glitch... We think right now there's something that causes the thrusters to fail, and we don't know exactly why. The Starliner did, however, make its backup time, docking at about 1.30 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. And with it came a critical piece of cargo that got quite a bit of attention this past week. NASA says there were actually two really important reasons for fixing this. Number one and number survive. two. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the ISS has been experiencing a plumbing issue recently and it needed a new pump that can turn, let's say, wastewater into drinking water. NASA says they recycle about 97% of their wastewater. And fortunately, after discarding some luggage, the Starliner was able to squeeze in and bring that replacement. So NASA says they plan to install that pump sometime today, and they also said that they plan to send a spare backup pump on the next Cygnus mission. Gotta be sure. In New York for ABC News, I'm Danny New.